I'm at Self Enhancement Incorporated, an organization that was established to help at-risk youth. And they just gave me my first set of coordinates and told me I need to go to Sunrise Lodge on Mount Bachelor. They told me it's gonna be extreme. My target is 10 miles, 10 miles that direction. Every checkpoint that I reach during this adventure goes to benefit SEI. I've got something for you guys. Yeah. Again, this is your stuff. <laughs> and all of this is happening right now on the wildlife. This is single-handedly the most extreme thing I have ever done in my life. And this is the view from the top of Monkey Fish. The yeah, most prehistoric fish that we can even think of right now. That is one big dungeon. Be all over the place. <laughs> the wildlife is presented by Next Adventure. This is Sunrise Lodge on Mount Bachelor. I was sent here by the guys at SEI and I was told that I'd get the coordinates to my first checkpoint right here. Engaging by the sound, I'm pretty sure I know where it's at. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Pretty well, and yourself? I'm good, I'm Jeremy. I'm Rachel. I think you have something for me. I do have something for you. All right, first checkpoint. I am currently at Sunrise Lodge on the base of Mount Bachelor. My next set of coordinates will take me to my first checkpoint, which is five miles away on the east side of the mountain. Each checkpoint I find during this geocache raises money for Self Enhancement Incorporated. And this team of anxious Iditarod sled dogs is going to pull me towards my first checkpoint. We're geared up and ready to go. Let's do this. SEI adopts kids into its program as second graders and provides support for them until age 25. This long-term relationship often means graduates like Kevin Ford stay involved. And I started in the second grade and ever since then I've just been a part of SEI. Once you're in SEI, it's kind of like they're walking you into a family. It's like, okay, we're going to watch you grow from the second grade all the way through college until you graduate. We're going to be there every step of the way. To this day, I'm still in contact with some of my coordinators. I come here, visit with the coordinators and the coaches and the kids. Now a college graduate, Kevin attributes his academic success to SEI. I wasn't really a school kind of guy. I didn't like school. I didn't like sitting in a chair. I was more just, I want to play sports. You know, I don't like to sit in the classroom and learn how to read and write. With SEI, there was always there basically like, hey, you need to get back on track, man. This is what's going to help you out in life further on down the road. I think for us, uh, what makes a difference is refusing to let kids fail. I think the biggest difference for us is that the kids that make it, most of them make it because there's someone in their lives that is there for them during the tough times. Unfortunately for a lot of low-income children and children of color, they don't have that kind of support system for us, we become that support system for kids that come through SEI. On my behalf, I, you know, I slipped up, wasn't really paying attention that well. My grade slipped, it was going down. Of course, I got back on track with SEI. With the support of SEI, Kevin became one of the 98% of SEI students to graduate from high school. We make sure that when a kid falls, we're there to catch them, dust them off, put them back in the game, tell them that we love them and that they're gonna be okay and they have the ability to be successful. And that's why our outcomes far exceed the norm. I'm closing in on my target, thanks to the efforts of this Iditarod dog sled team. Very few times do you ride in a vehicle that's dog powered and it's like gliding over the snow and the dogs just know instinctively where you're going. They read the trail better than we could possibly understand it. All right, so this is telling me I need to head right over here. 20 feet. Oh, right here, right here, right here. All right, 
Checkpoint 2. Knowledge and skill will make one an expert, especially when the way is challenging. We got our next set of coordinates. Plot these. And then get back on my dog sled and ride out of here. Coming up on The Wildlife. Okay. Well, that's where I'm going to head down right there. It's quite the slope. Here we go. The Wildlife is presented by Next Adventure. Covered some mileage. About half a mile away from my target. I can see that I've got a straight line of travel. That direction right there. Dog sled team brought me from my first checkpoint on the east side of Mount Bachelor back to the lodge. Now I'm hiking towards the summit of the cinder cone where my next checkpoint should be waiting, but I have to survive the steep hike first. These runs are brutal. They're really steep and there's a lot of fresh powder so it's not like walking up a hard surface. It's just trudging through the snow. One foot after the other. Let's get it done. While I'm on Mount Bachelor, school activities are underway at Self Enhancement Incorporated. SEI is a nonprofit organization that supports at risk urban youth like Keith. I've been working with Keith for about eight months. I'm about three things with him I'm a mentor, I'm a teacher and uh, I also sometimes use the take the parent role. Through SEI, kids are paired with coordinators like Nathan Commodore, who provide encouragement, support, and accountability in all facets of their lives. They make sure that you get your homework done, they check in on your grades. It gets kind of annoying at times, but you know it's, it's for your own good, so it's not that bad. The heavy involvement in the lives of SEI students helps change the tides for kids who would otherwise be at high risk for dropping out. Without SEI, a lot of kids wouldn't graduate. Uh, right now, SEI has about a 98% graduation rate. I really don't know. I don't know where my life would be without SEI. But I could, I could tell you that there would be a really big difference if I was not in SEI. But luckily, I am. Well, this area right here is the saddle. Mountain over here, and cinder cone up here. So what I'm gonna do is take my pack off, stuff my sh snowshoes inside there, and then I'm gonna walk up this little pathway right here to get to the top, and then I'll come back down. Because from this point on, it's just really steep. And I don't wanna carry any more gear with me. I have already hiked two miles in thick powder. And while I still have to go a quarter of a mile up steep terrain, I'm motivated to reach my second checkpoint and raise more money for SEI. Let's do this last little bit here. SEI is inspiring because they take underprivileged children and they aid them in all facets of their life. They give them the tools that it's gonna take for these children to rise to the level of everyone else and be successful across the board. And they, they refuse to allow their current circumstances to hold them down. They, they motivated me to step forward and rise above. It should be right here. Oh, right here. Oh. All right, let's come down here and open this thing. That was 
One heck of a climb. Our next checkpoint says, success is sometimes a narrow edge between failure and victory. It's got our next set of coordinates on there. All right. The heavy involvement in the lives of SEI students helps change the tides for kids who would otherwise be at high risk for dropping out. Without SEI, a lot of kids wouldn't graduate. Uh, right now, SEI has about a 98% graduation rate. Not only do 98% of SEI kids graduate from high school, 85% of them go on to graduate from college. I feel SEI gives hope to kids because they see other kids in front of them actually graduate. So they see other of their friends, peers, or maybe role models in the, in the past graduate so they know that they can do it too. SEI, it's setting me up for a pretty bright future. Uh, I see myself going to a really good college. SEI provides a variety of support services to help kids combat poverty and the risks associated with it to become successful. SEI provides um, rent assistance, counseling for kids, groceries, gas, power assistance. All of these services make SEI an all-encompassing program that works as an extended family to ensure the success of its students. We're a very, very close-knit family, and as a family, um, we help each other out, and uh, we help kids succeed. The Wildlife is presented by Next Adventure. Okay, well, that's where I'm gonna head down right there. It's quite the slope. With something this steep, you can really start to pick up speed. If I start going too fast, I have to self-arrest, which is taking this guy and jamming it into the snow, face first like this, huddled in so that <laughs> I don't just go tumbling down the hill. Whew. Here we go. Whew. Lissating isn't the most glamorous way to get down a mountain, but with limited tools and the need to move on to my next checkpoint, it's my best option. All right, got my pack, and now I've got 10 miles trudging through the snow. Whew. Let's do this. Self Enhancement Incorporated is an all encompassing program that aims to help at risk urban youth find success in school and in life. SEI works to expose its youth to the world outside their neighborhood. Oftentimes, low income children live in a box and don't have the opportunity to get outside of that box. And I'm one that believes that every kid on the planet has a gift. They have something that they're naturally better at than other people. But oftentimes kids, because they don't have options and opportunities in front of them, they never get a chance to experience enough to find out what they're good at. Some of the stuff that I get to do with SEI, I don't normally do. Like I wouldn't go to a concert in Tacoma on a clear day, we could stand outside and potentially look to the east and see Mount Hood. A lot of our kids could, but most of them have never been to Mount Hood. So we may have the next extreme skier sitting right here in our midst, but because they've never gotten a chance to go to Mount Hood, they haven't experienced that. And we have field trips and programs for individuals as well as groups just to expose them uh, to a variety of things, whether that's you know, taking them to the opera or taking them to OMSI or taking them to Mount Hood, you know, whatever it might be because you just never know what particular thing is going to be the interest of a particular child. So you just do as much as you can, as often as you can. You expose kids, a kid takes off, they find their gift and all of a sudden life has now changed because they have something that they're passionate about, excited about. Okay, you don't see that every day. This is gonna make 10 miles fly by. I've descended the face of the cinder cone 
and now must travel approximately 10 miles towards Elk Lake where my third checkpoint is hiding. Fortunately, I have a snow bourbon to rip through the terrain. Should be right out here on the lake. All right, let's do this. Hundred feet, right here. Over here. Oh, right here, right here. Here we go. Checkpoint four says to gain ground, one must aim high. Oh man. And I have more coordinates, which means this is not the end. Still have a ways to go. Coming up on the wildlife. It's like a Stairmaster from hell. The Wildlife is presented by Next Adventure. The sun is setting and I have to reach my next checkpoint before dark. It has been a seven mile sprint since my last checkpoint on Elk Lake. My GPS is taking me east towards my fourth checkpoint which is somewhere off the Cascade Lakes Byway. I have no idea what the next checkpoint will bring. I just know I need to reach it before dark. Oh no. Oh man. My batteries are low. My GPS is frozen. And I'm getting bad satellite reception. The fact that I'm raising more money and the faster I get this done, the more money I'm raising, it doesn't allow you to let up. You've got to always be pushing. This way, this way up here, up here. It doesn't allow you to feel the pain and the fatigue and this challenge took me to that limit, to that breaking point where breaching the hill and seeing the sun setting in the distance almost panicked knowing that I've got to get this done right now. No time to waste, I've got to finish this right now. Oh, I'm only a couple feet away. Oh. Here it is. What a day. Oh, yes. My favorite word, congratulations. The quote is, victory is sweet when your accomplishments have been made through adversity. Congratulations, you've reached the end. I'll tell you what, that is the perfect quote for a challenge like this. I've finished my exhausting adventure on Mount Bachelor. Now I get to travel north to the kids at Self Enhancement Incorporated. Well, we're back at SCI. We survived the adventure on Mount Bachelor and we're about to give them a surprise. How you guys doing? Good, 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 good. All right, well heads up. I've got something 
for you guys, but it's in here. All right? Let's file on in there. Grab a seat. Oh, oh, hey, we're eating in all the stuff. They don't even know what's coming. Sit down. Sit down in there, guys. Well, guys, I'm back. I survived the adventure on Mount Bachelor that you guys sent me on. It was extreme, extreme to say the very least, but I made it. So I know something that's a very popular phrase around here is life has options. Yep. Yeah? Well, I'd like to give you guys one more. You ready for this? Yeah! All right, here we go. Oh. Eight sets of snowboards, boots, bindings, and jackets all donated from Next Adventure for you guys. Yeah! Right now, dig in, this is your stuff. <laughs> the, the kids, they were just awesome. They, they were slapping me high fives, I was getting hugs. They loved it, they were really excited to receive the snowboards because they knew that they could use them. And not only could they use them, they could use them immediately. The Wildlife is presented by Next Adventure.